Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that blade syntax. So now in this video, I want to discuss about one of the most interactive things as a controller. So before in our route area, I have passed that request. That means our return request with our this view. That means that is I loaded one of the view page, right? So now I want to do, I want to manage it by the controller. So how can do that work? For doing this, we have to do, we have to create one of the controller. So if you want to create one of the controller in Laravel, how can create it? I show you. Then you have to do, you have to go to your project directory. So that is our project directory. And here right now I have already run our PHP artisan serve. So I want to create, I add new one. And now if you open it, so that is our another common prompt. And here you can see that is our appropriate this file location, right? So here I want to do, I want to create one of the controller. So if you want to create one of the controller um, better, I want to do a little bit a big size. Then it will be very much helpful to you. Okay, so here I want to do, I want to create one of the controller. So to the controller, if you want to create it, then you have to write down as a PHP artisan, PHP artisan and then make and the controller. And then I want to do, I want to create one of the controller name as a contact controller for our contact page. So whatever the things you actually like, I name it as a contact, contact controller. Okay, I name it as a contact controller. So that is the our process that I make it as a capital contact and controller for the C as a capital. So if you don't want to use it, you can use it. But right now that is actually the standard way. So better practice to create it by the capital letter and that is our controller capital letter. Okay, friend. So that is the controller I want to create as a contact controller. So that is PHP artisan make controller and the contact controller. So now if you click as a enter, now you can see it's now showing as a controller created successfully. When this controller actually created, you'll get this controller. That means that is our contact controller I have created. If you go to your um, HTTP, that means in our app, into the HTTP, and there is a controller folder, into the controller folder, here you can see friend. So that is the contact controller I have created. So that is by default the class as a contact controller. That means that is our contact controller. And then it's extended our one of the mother controller. That means Laravel mother controller. When you install that Laravel, we'll get by default one of the mother controller as a controller.php. So it's extended one of the mother controller as a this controller. Okay, friends. So that is our controller. So we successfully created our controller. So now I want to do, I want to update this part. Like if you go to our route, into the route that is a web route right so into the web route before we pass uh, from here that is our route into the route that is our route i have created and into the functionality i pass that return view on the control that means our contact page so that is our contact page right so into the view area i have created one of the contact page so now i want to do i want to load our this page that means this contact page via our this controller that is a controller i have just created so how can do that work for doing this before in Laravel 7, I first of all, I show that Laravel 7 functionalities, like I remove it. Okay. And first of all, here you have to write down as a route. And then, then you have to do, you have to use that get as I told you friend into the route, there is a get method. So if you want to get some of the data, you have to use that get, right? So into the get, then you have to add your um, path name. So here I want to do, I want to add one of the path name so whatever you want so right now i want to make it as again contact okay that means that will be our route name that means that that's just same things actually that is our this route okay so right now i want to create another route as a contact and after that i want to do i want to load our controller that means that is actually controller so here i want to create one of the method okay so right now i want to do i show you everything will be more clear to you like here before we use that our controller name and after that controller here you have to do you have to add that at the rate and then your method name whatever the method you want to create in particular this controller area okay so right now i will make it as a one of the as the index okay index so that means this index method we have to do we have to create in our this appropriate uh, our this controller area Okay, friend, and also make that sure you add that semicolon. So that is our column. So that is the index method we have to now create in our contact. That means our contact controller go to our contact controller. That means here. Okay, so here we have to create it. 
so if you want to create this method that means that is our index method we have to create i copy it and if you want to create one of the method then you have to do you have to write as a public okay the public and then function so that is a public function and then our method name so i have already declared one of the method as index right so that is our controller that is a contact controller i have created this method that is our index method so that is our index method so into the index method area that is actually the format friend that is very much important one of the part because if you well understand that main basic code things laravel will be just like as a water okay trust me so that is the public function and that is our index method and into the index method here right now i want to do i want to echo some of the um, value so here i want to do i want to echo as a this is uh, our contact page okay contact page so this type of one of the text i want to visible so that is the format we used in laravel 6 and the 7 like right now if you want to access it i just click as a save all and that is our contact so that is our url if you want to access it i show you then it should be actually show some of the error i open it click as the enter now because the friend is now showing as a target class contact controller does not exist that means this the process is not appropriate for the laravel 8 so for the laravel 8 if you go to that laravel official website if you go to that as a font in uh, sorry that is a basic into the basic if you go to that controllers see to the controllers right now is little bit different so here you have to do you have to add your controller name first and also here you have to update it that means you can see that is actually you have to use that controller and also that will be your new route so i show you better i copy it okay i copy that route so now i want to do i want to update it right now we are using laravel 8 not the 7 so that is our 7 format and now I paste it. So that is our Laravel 8 format. Okay, so into the 8 format that will be the same as a route and the gate. And after that I want to do, I want to add our URL. So our URL will be as a contact. So that means the same. And after that before there is a, um, our controller name. So right now I want to do, I want to use that controller name with this like that format. They have the third bracket. And then you have to add your controller name and then the class and after that class here you have to add that your method okay so that is our index method so now i want to do i want to use our this index method so that is the seven or six format and that is our eight format so just the changes a lot of is updated right now so you have to update your route like that way okay friend so right now we don't need this i remove it from here and also we are using that contact controllers right so here we have to do we have to also use it so you can see it's also give that instruction you have to use your controller name so better i use it i copy it and after that that is our controller name that means in our app that means that is our app and then the http and then the controllers folder into the controllers folder i have created our folder name file name that means our controller name as a contact controller right so that is our contact controller so now i want to do i want to use it so that is our contact controller so that is our contact controller i simply use it okay friends so that is our file extension as a app http app http controllers and the contact controllers that is our contact controllers perfect so that's the things you have to do now let's check this out if you now click as a save all so now it will be redirected to our contact controller index method so that is our contact controller and that is our index method so and here i echo our one of the string value and this is our contact page now let's check this out if you now access our this contact click as a save all and now i want to do and to refresh it yes you can see friend now it's perfectly working so now it's display our contact that means this is our contact page i hope it's very much clear to you friends so that is our laravel new updated so that is our alpha for the laravel 8 okay so into the index method so into the index method area right now i'm echo some of the string values so here if you want to load uh, some of the return value just like before that is a return view one of the view page that is one of the view file you want to load you can also load it so here for doing this you have to do you have to return it the same code as a return and then view and with the view area i want to do and to load our contact page right so i have already created one of the page so into the view area i have already created one of the contact page as a contact 
so now I want to do I want to name it as a contact so that's all you have to do okay and after that make that sure you add that semicolon so perfect so now it should be redacted to particular that area that means when you access this contact it should be redacted to the contact controller index method that means that is our contact controller and that is our index method into the index method it should be returned view one of the page as a contact page that means into the view and that is our contact page will be loaded right so i have already created this page so that is our contact page now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now if you that is our same url refresh it yes you can see it's perfectly loaded our contact page i hope friend it's very much clear to you how can working with this that is how can control your all that url by this controller and how can load this controller to make that sure you add it okay so right now that is actually some of the example note so right now we don't need this i remove it perfect so that is our contact controller okay so everything is now perfectly working so that is our home if you go to that our home our home is loaded if you go to our uh, controller that means a contact so now this data actually controlled by the controller and also i have added another one as a about so for the about you can see it's also loaded that about so it now counts from directly that means from over here is now directly for the about it's loaded our this return view so in our next video i want to discuss about that midi layer so how can create that midi layer how can put some of the privilegization with the midi layer in our next video i will discuss about that things with you with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video